AJT coming back to you from Spray Creations. Sorry for the couple week delay. It's been a real busy week at work and other things personal wise. So hopefully now I'm able to come to you every couple days with a new painting. Let me start off by saying I'm going to go from beginning to master level because right now I'm not, I'm good, I'm really good, but I'm not master. I'm not a Brandon McConnell or a Mark Fussell, but I'm really good. But basically what I want to show you is my beginners to my master level. I want to, I want to video my journey through my spray art through, to you guys. And I got a couple more supplies that I thought that would come, that I should um, recognize. One is my um my mask. You see you see many spray painters use it it's to help ventilate your um face and everything. And when you're doing a show, it also looks pretty cool. Second box of gloves, I got these for my work. Um, basic protection. These these paints have a lot of chemicals in them, and they will make you sick if you get too much in your pores or whatever. So it's always good to wear gloves. And the best thing about it, a fan of mine made this for me out the blue one day because he knew, knew I needed it. The spray painter spin table. Basically, so you don't got to do all this crap. It makes your paintings go a lot faster and you ain't got to fiddle around with turning it by hand. Alright, but since I'm out of time, this is going to be a nice little um space beginner space scene. Nice and simple. It's going to show you how to do a decent planet as well as some rock textures and I'm going to try to throw a tree in there somewhere if I have time and um basically let's begin I'll try to talk more afterwards but I'm on a time limit right now so let's begin That wasn't supposed to happen, but that's what happens when I do it live.
Alright. Now you've seen how quickly I did this painting. You got the tree right here. Sorry if it don't look all that great, but as you can see I was on I was trying to rush it a little bit. But so you can see it better. You got to see how that planet stands out, that 3D look it got going. That would have never happened if I would have put that purple down. That's a light to dark or dark to light. That's how you make those planets pop like that. Notice I just wanted it straight beginner, so I didn't mess with no highlights or shades. I just wanted a nice simple plane to just show you guys how easy this really is. When I first did this painting six months ago, this is the painting that I sold over and over and over again. I sold this particular painting 20 to 30 different times in 20 to 30 different colors. This one is one of my most popular paintings there is. It's very easy to do. You just saw how fast I got it done and it's a great looking painting. So thank you for watching. I appreciate it and keep those cans rattling and I hope to see you guys in another couple days.